Hi everyone, my name is Ollie, and I'm a third year medical student at Warwick Medical School. Um, we got our exam results this morning from second year and I have been deemed satisfactory and safe to pass on to phase three. So just for some context, you, you do a year um, at Warwick Med School, a kind of preclinical year. You then have exams in June, I think, kind of when everyone else sits their exams. Then you have a little bit of a break, then you come back in second year, you start all your clinical work, everything becomes a lot more clinically focused. Then you're on clinical placement from January right the way through to the end of August, basically. And then you have exams. We've just had them at the start of September. And uh, that covers virtually everything that you've done, or in theory it could do. Um, and then assuming you pass that, so that's phase one is first year, phase two is second year. Phase three, which I'm starting tomorrow, is the final phase of the course. We don't have any more exams now until finals. How terrifying is that? I don't have any more exams really until kind of December or early January into Feb of 2021. Um, so yeah, that's a huge thing. We are more than more than halfway towards being doctors. And if you were watching me kind of this time last year, waiting for results, uh, I was so frantic and so kind of convinced that I'd failed. Um, I, I was absolutely convinced I'd failed. This time I was very much a, a coin toss. I wasn't confident of having passed. Um, I think it could have gone either way, but actually looking at the breakdown of the marks, our year on the whole has done really, really well. Um, at least relatively to the pass mark. We had 15 OSCE stations as well as our two written papers. You had to pass 11 OSCE stations out of 15. I failed one of them, so I, I got 14 out of 15, which again, the average um, candidate did. So yeah, I mean, it, it just, <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for it to sink in. Um, I mean, I'm really excited. This means that it doesn't impact on the research project that I'm doing. That's just going to proceed as normal. Um, all my kind of extra things that I like to do, all of that can proceed unimpeded. I am going to take more care, I think, this year, just to make sure that I am working away steadily all the way through the year, preparing for finals. But finals, you literally just have to pass. It doesn't make any difference to anything else. Um, we can start thinking about electives, you know, a good year from now, um, thinking about what we might want to do there and just basically being back in clinic and, and doing things at, at a higher level and more intense teaching and more intense placements and lots of, lots of very exciting things going on. Today is also the day that many of you will have started at Warwick. It's your first day at Warwick Med School if, if you joined first year for 2019 entry. So congratulations. Um, please let me know if you've started today. I'm in uni all next week. So if you want to meet up for a coffee or anything, just let me know. Um, that would be great. Y you'll, you'll love the course. It's hard. You know, it's a stressful time, but we will all be here to support you with anything else you need. I'm also one of the co-presidents of SurgSoc this year, so we'll be seeing you for all our good surgical events. Um, if you're in first year, come to the anatomy days. Um, I think they're one of the best ways to learn anatomy in first year, outside obviously of what the medical school teaches you. We've got lots of exciting things coming up and you'll have a great time, guys. So I'm really grateful that you're able to, to kind of come and come and join the amazing journey that med school is. So it's just a general update. I thought you guys might want to know what was going on, but I'll, I'll be back to regular content unimpeded. Um, I'm just, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys another time. Bye.